Hello, everybody. My name is Ashman792, and welcome to The Shade. Joining me again, the very lovable and handsome and punctual Arobian Angel. Arrow, where are you? Arrow? Arrow, I swear he was here. I, I was... Arrow! Arrow? Hey, I'm here. Am I late? <laughs> Freaking, where have you been? I had, like... You were you were in the waiting room. I saw you in yes. the waiting room. We uh -huh. I had my assistant bring you in. Did she did she not tell you to come in? She uh she she said uh, I just had to like wait for like the green light to walk onto the stage. No, it's the it's the blue light. Cheryl. Blue light. Cheryl, get in here, Cheryl. Cheryl, I'm very disappointed in you. I told you yesterday it's the blue light. I know it's your second day at work. I know. I know, and this is, but you got, this is the third episode. Mr. Arobian Angel has a lot of time. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of time. He, he's got a very busy schedule. I can't, I can't bring him in. You know how long it took for me to get this guy, like, to, to record with me? It's been, it's been a solid month since I petitioned him, okay? And Cheryl, I can't be having bad episodes, all right? I'm gonna have to have a talk with you later. But, uh, but next time, you better, you better be careful. It's the blue light. So sorry, so unprofessional, my bad, uh. It's it's entirely it's entirely fine. It's like so long so long as we could just get to talking about the real important issue. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Sonic Mega Drive. Sonic Mega Drive. Sonic Mega Drive all the time. That's all we ever talk about on on this channel. Um, and and today, uh, I was thinking the best way we could talk about Sonic Mega Drive. You know, we could get yes. into our, our our good buddy Knuckles here. Look at him. Look at him. Look, he's Knuckles is looking pretty bomb. Right I wanted now. to do something fun with Knuckles because you know my favorite incarnation of Knuckles comes from the Sonic Boom universe. Am I right? Really? I right? Yeah. Like, no. Okay. Let, can I be real? Yeah. Yeah. For real. Second? Yeah. All right. So first time I saw Boom Knuckles, right? I was I was like, wow! I can't believe that we have like an entirely new character for like the canon of Boom. Mm -hmm. They actually introduce a new echidna. Muscles the Echidna was here. Yeah, no, it's, it's so different. And, and everybody hated the designs, like, seriously. Everyone hated it. In fact, I remember when the silhouette first showed up. You remember, like, when they had, like, the silhouettes up on the... Put up put up the picture with, like, all the characters, like, silhouettes up against, like, a stone wall. Dude, do I remember the silhouettes? Yeah, and, and like, everybody was, like, filling in their own, like, kind of ideas for, like, what it was going to be. I, um, I distinctly remember when, uh, when they made Knuckles, like, Sally Acorn. <laughs> yeah. I so, didn't like, see that had... one. He had like a giant Sally Acorn, like giving Sonic the bed for eyes. <laughs> uh, and then, like and like Amy was like, "What the fuck?" Oh yeah, yeah, man. I don't know. And and I saw that, and I was like, you know, I, I totally understood. Like the second I saw that, I was like, okay, I get it. They don't want all the characters to be like you know cardboard copy pictures of themselves. Like y you know the deal. Like fan characters are all the same because all Sonic characters kind of look the same. They're all kind of got the same like body shape and all that other stuff. And you know Knuckles is the power type guy. He's the strong one, and I totally always understood that. Um, but they went farther than that. They like took my favorite thing about Knuckles. And while I get it, like Knuckles is a beast. Um, he's tough. He's serious. If you like that incarnation of Knuckles, I don't think he's going anywhere in like the maybe the main canon. Um, but like the comics still keep him going on as, like, a pretty tough guy. Uh, but they, they decided to make him the fun, lovable kind of, like... The, the love, fun, co lovable kind of idiot character. Like, not an idiot. I don't want to say that. He's like the Patrick. Well, I I think... <clears throat> I think, like, Patrick still kind of goes in, like, the, the idiot area, but, like, let me, let me tell you He's the lovable idiot, Arrow. Let me tell you something, right? The lovable idiot, yes. Knuckles, Knuckles, and boom. He is just, he's my favorite. He's one of my favorite characters. Are, are, you, like, are you, like, being real or, like... <laughs> I, I, am, I am being 100% truthful. Like, there is not a hint, a hint of sarcasm. I am being real. I feel because, like you are You're totally being... Like, no. No, 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 no. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> okay, all right. If you just, like, go into Boom and you're like, oh, man, Knuckles is an idiot. And then, you know, he's like, oh, that's, it, 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 Sonic says this. And then Knuckles is like, oh. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, what an idiot. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, what if he was on such high of a level of like mental fortitude <laughs> that? Well, they had way, that episode. That was the one where he became mayor. Yeah, like his way, his way of humor is through like obfuscating his his smarts, intentionally bloating up the dumb side of things. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could, I could see that. Like, so like he's, he's like, just playing this one us. joke. This one joke where like, uh, where Sonic's like. We can't just stand here and watch Eggman's like base get blown up, right? 
And Uncle's like, you're right. So then he sits down. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah. No, I don't know. I think that, like, the biggest draw for Knuckles um, in, in, like, the Sonic Boom universe is that, like, so I, I've always felt that, like, the main character cast for, like, the original games, like, it has a little bit of, like, a Dragon Ball Z syndrome. Like, they introduce a rival, um, and the rival is really important and powerful and a great character to add to the series when he first shows up. But you start to add more characters as that comes on and the rivalries become less in interesting. And so those characters yeah. get sidelined a lot. They don't really know what to do. And is, is the show really benefited or like the original canon, like really, you know, gaining that much from having another serious character that's trying to be Sonic's rival when there are like four other people and a robot, like trying to do the same thing. Yeah. And it's like, you have like, you know, Knuckles, who was like, the he, Knuckles was the like the hot shit on the playground. Right? Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah, people fighting over who gets to be Sonic and who gets stuck being Tails, right? Yeah, back yeah. That, everybody wanted to be, like, Knuckles, right? Yeah, yeah, because that was the <laughs> thing back then. But, like, you noticed the, like, fifth grade hit, and then everybody's like, yeah, now I want to be Shadow, or now I want to be, like, Neo Metal Sonic or something like that, and and that's or, or what people were doing. Or I want to be Jet. <laughs> <laughs> or I no, wanna, no, no, nobody wanted to be Jet. Nobody wanted to be Jet. <laughs> But like, but yeah, he was another character yeah. that was the same kind of like new rival that got added on and sidelined and all that kind of jazz. Um, yeah, and I think the issue yeah. is that they just don't know what to do with them after the fact. Like after they've got beaten and they join Sonic's ranks of of his friends and whatnot. Yeah, he sort of just like he goes from like a once being like pivotal character right. to kind of just another cheerleader on the sideline. And like that's the same thing that Shadow's going through right now. I think like Shadow yeah. literally has no purpose, and unfortunately, like I think that. Uh, because he's so serious and he's still got this anti-hero kind of thing to him, uh, there really hasn't been an opportunity for him to, like, get an idea, like, a real set, like, type for his, his role in the show. Other than kind of being, like, I guess, like, an aloof foil to some extent. Yeah. After they explored him really fully in Shadow the Hedgehog, which, I don't know, <laughs> maybe uh, a game that, that may or may not have needed to happen. They they didn't know what to do with him because now he wasn't a mysterious guy because we now know everything. Um, and like, yeah, arguably we knew everything. The game before that too. Yeah, and heroes it revealed like, a lot. And yeah, because he know. was like, I don't know anything about my past. But the player is like, Yeah, but we do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then, and they were sitting there the whole time, like Rouge, just tell him. <laughs> right? Yeah, that that's true. Yeah, no, there there was a lot. <sighs> that that story was so bad. So I shouted the hedgehog. It was such a bad story, but. Uh, it, it had some good points. I liked Shadow the Hedgehog story a little bit. Like, um, the final story was kind of cool. And I, I, get, I liked the original idea. Uh, for, all right, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. It was a bad story. It was. I'm trying to, like, polish a turd, but there, there's a chance that there's something redeemable out of that game. And it, it was it was the first, like, branching storyline kind of thing that... It was, it was pretty novel for its time. I mean, like... Yeah, good idea for, like, having the ambition to do it, but if you're going to, like, foster that ambition, you got to, like, have, like, the responsibility to make sure it, you know, works. No, it didn't work. And, like, the yeah. idea of, like, it being, like, a fetch quest and kind of stuff in a Sonic level was really bad. The controls were terrible. Shadow of the Hedgehog was a, was a crummy game, but, like... I, I I still think that, like, when it comes down to characters, they, they need to have a, a moment in the spotlight, uh, but they can't just be the rival as their character because i don't know knuckles over the course of time became sonic's friend instead of rival and that was a good change like if they kept him as the aloof guy that only sparred with sonic whenever he went on to angel island it would have been the same problem that shadow's having and so now that uh knuckles is kind of the friend he can sort of be like the the, the funny uh, wisecracking dude what this this thing just went off in my chest <laughs> Tony, Tony Stark, no, don't go, don't go to the light. Stay with oh, us. Oh no! The world please. needs Iron Man. <laughs> the music box in my chest. I need to recharge. But okay. being on topic for like a quick second. Okay. Boom, Knuckles. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, I I like the thing. Like Knuckles has always had like a really extra funny quality to him because like he is so proud, um, and he's got this whole like sort of storyline to himself exclusively and he, he always feels marginalized which is really funny yeah. um and i think that's the thing that um that boom explores whether it be like the episodes where he feels marginalized which ends up being an episode about him which is pretty cool yeah yeah or you know if it's like 
where you get to see the world through Knuckles' eyes or how Knuckles <laughs> embellishes it. Yeah, yeah. I, I really love that, like, the things that they do with Boom Knuckles because, well, for one, we're doing things with Knuckles again, you know? Yeah. And, and, and two, that's something, yeah, doesn't happen ever. Yeah. And two, like, they're, it's arguably some of the most creative stuff being done with Knuckles. Yeah, like, and, and Sonic games have never been, like, I mean, they, they have been pretty good games to, like, explore, like, relationships and the stories and the characters and flesh them out. But I don't know. Boom has been a great little fun experiment to, like, get some story development and stuff like that. And I don't think Sonic X and all of its, like, I don't know, like, 100 episodes ever really developed characters like, you know, Knuckles and stuff like that in the fun ways that, you know, we see yeah, uh, like with this most, one. The most you got with Knuckles was um, don't be by yourself all the time. What was that? Like, remember, like, in the beginning of season one, Knuckles just always wanted to be by himself. Oh, yeah, and he had, like, a weird, like, human friend that was, like... Yeah, he had, like, Hawk, who was, like, hey, let's let's go find some things. And Knuckles was, like, okay, sure. Well, that was kind of cool. Like, they, they like, had, like, he, yeah. like, he never, like, hung out with Sonic and the gang. And that was one of the things that bummed me out as a kid, because I liked Knuckles, but Knuckles always... But if they had Knuckles left. hang out with the game, that would take more time away from Chris Thorndike. And that's a clearly the, the most pivotal, most important thing that the show had to do. All right, That's my favorite thing about Boom. There's, there's no Chris <laughs> There's Thorndike. no Chris Thorndike. Well, good news, because I recall somebody saying in a tweet that new characters are going to be involved in the new season of Sonic Boom. So Chris Let's Thorndike go. very well could be brought in. We could have, like, the trifecta. Yeah. We could have freaking Chris Thorndike. We could have the gun commander <laughs> and Princess Elise all in one episode. Don't forget Black Doom. You gotta have Black all of Doom, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we we reference Shadow <laughs> the Hedgehogs in you know really powerful Oscar winning storylines, so we gotta include something from there. Um, and, and there are humans in the universe because Knuckles exists in Sonic. I mean, uh, <laughs> because because Eggman exists in Sonic Boom. Um, so I don't know. The the, the floodgates are open. It's possible. A whole new world. Imagine how interesting an episode of Boom would be with a whole episode about Chris and his parents <laughs> in, in the Sonic Boom context. How well it would fit in with everything Sonic else. Sonic Boom, season finale. <laughs> Chris's parents finally divorce. Oh my god, if we somehow magically call this, like if there is just an alternate dimension, like I believe in the multi-universe theories, like imagine if there is a dimension out there when they bring Sonic, uh, Chris Thorndike into the show and like he actually does that and we are like proclaimed as heroes for being psychics and then we get like a lot of bunch of money because everybody wants us to predict like the World Series. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. Let us, let us indeed live out the bad future. <laughs> We we whatever you do, do not destroy Metal Sonic or or the, don't destroy the Metal Sonic. Don't destroy the original like roboticizer. Don't even get the time stones, kids. Matter of fact, just just wait out three minutes. Just wait out. Th just jump off the stage, like legit. You, you don't. Yeah, and and if yeah, don't even worry about finishing the game. You'll always get a bad future. Yeah, that's great. Fact of life. Freaking funny. What's your favorite moment of Knuckles in any of the different canons or, or deals? Like, you, you did a, a cartoon called Sonic vs. Knuckles, which was, like, yes. definitely one of the coolest cartoons that I had seen whenever I was a kid, uh, before we were even friends, um, but I still knew who you were. What What's your favorite, like, out of all the incarnations of Knuckles? Like, you know, we, we, we talked a lot of fun about Sonic Boom Knuckles, but, like, what, what like, seriously, did you like the serious Knuckles when he was at his peak kind of way back then? Or do you care for, like, you know, I don't know, uh, some of the more funny, wisecracking moments? Maybe even the comics. Like, what's your favorite incarnation of Knuckles? I, th I think I like the dynamic that, like, you know, Knuckles and Sonic have. But, like, I don't know, maybe, like, I'm just not tired of Boom Knuckles yet. Yeah. Because, like, I kind of got tired of um, regular Knuckles, how, like, you know, he'd be like, hey, I'm, like, proud and I'm headstrong. Okay, that's cool. And then Sonic's like, but you're also an idiot, right? Yeah, and yeah. And then Knuckles like, shut up, right? Hey, wait versus, up! Versus, like, you know, <laughs> Boom Knuckles, who's like, hey, I'm proud and I'm headstrong. And, like, Boom Sonic's like, yeah, and you're also an idiot, right? Yeah. And, then, and Boom Knuckles is <laughs> like, well, you're an idiot, too. And then Boom Sonic's like, yeah, let's go do idiot stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they feel like Spongebob and Patrick on some episodes, and that kind of feels somewhat endearing. What was that That episode where, like, in, in uh, they were, like, doing a stupid race of some kind? Like, yeah. he had to, like, go through a bunch of glass or, like, you know, cactuses or something like that. And, like, go, go, go! And they got, like, a final time, and, like, Tails is recording them. That was so freaking funny. 
it was great because like they do that so many times like in they're the just other stupid boys they, like that's just yeah. who they are like in the other episode where they challenged amy and sticks to like a uh, a survival um, that was one of the best thing. episodes of the show like without yeah, a doubt I, yeah my favorite part of that whole episode was when they were just like messing around with that stick on the floor <laughs> catch <laughs> right? a fire right yeah yeah no, like they're, they're, they're messing around with the stick on the floor and then like um like amy and sticks left behind so they could use it to tell time right right but instead, like, um, Knuckles just, like, put it on his head like a horn, and Sonic was like, Toro, Toro! <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. And, like, Knuckles runs at him, Sonic dodges, and it, like, gets lodged into a tree, and Knuckles falls over, right? Uh-huh. And then Sonic looks at the stick, and he's like, oh, man, it's already noon, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're able to, like, totally mess around, but still also tell the time. The man, the myth, the legend, read it in this, in this month's issue of uh, Emerald's, em- Emerald Guardians Monthly. Right it looks here, beautiful. It's it's great. I'm I'm actually I'm actually happy that you included those uh, those quips that I sent you over Skype. Uh huh. Yeah. I, no, they were all totally original, and I did not ask you for any help with like hilarious <laughs> article names. Okay. I just, I just came up with these like on the fly. Yeah. No. You right? you're, you're like God. You're the best like freaking idea guy. Whenever I have to like workshop some kind of funny idea, I don't know. You you've always there's always enough time to like flesh out a joke, whenever you're around. It's, I'm, I'm glad that you keep me around. <laughs> it's, it should be the other way around, really. But, uh, yeah, man. Right. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're going to go guard the Master Emerald. <laughs>